What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So... Guys, if you guys don't know what's going on out there, it's kind of crazy. Everybody's sick and everybody's getting over COVID or the flu or whatever oh, they've got. Oh, for goodness gracious. If you don't know what's going on out there, <laughs> I don't know where you're living. I mean, even if you were living in a, under a shell in like Alaska in a cave, you would probably still know what's going on. Yeah. Seriously. Because it's like this has been... It's been a little crazy. Yeah, it, it's definitely been nuts. Uh, you know, third year going into this this COVID pandemic thing. Um, obviously, you know, if you've been following us through these last three years, you know that, you know, me and Sharice both caught COVID in 2020, where I was totally asymptomatic and Sharice was in the ICU. Yeah, bad luck. So it obviously affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Now, after that, we're just sharing our experience on this. Um, so other people might have different experiences. You know, that's what is crazy about this whole thing. Right, but, so this, a.k.a. don't take this as a political episode. Yeah, this is not a political episode <laughs> let's whatsoever. Get, let's, put that, let, that, let's go um, ahead and put that warning in here now. Yeah. This is not a political episode, and it's specifically our personal experience yes. and our, our opinion on our personal yes. experience. Yeah, so, I mean, with this, this first run, I mean, basically, you know, I had the antibodies for three months, tested through blood work, through LabCorp, that we do here at Titan Medical Center. And Sharice had hers for over a year and a half. Wow. Okay, a long time where people were only supposed to have from three to six months. Um, and she obviously had a big viral load the first time, and that's why she probably had the antibodies for such a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, got through the first one, thank God. Um, second one was Delta or these other variants that were out there. We didn't catch that. We were pretty precautious of what was going on. Um, but this one, this Omicron that just came around um, these last couple of weeks, me and Sharice caught pretty bad, um, you know, and my son and my dad, too, yeah. as well, who's... High risk. High risk. Super high risk. Double vaccinated, boosted, the whole nine, and is sicker than me and Sharice got. So, but yeah. this one kind of stuck around. We kind of got, like, the flu-like symptoms, it's congestion. Ling it was, it's lingering. We call it, I, I want to call it, like, the lingering COVID version. Yeah. You know, it's, it wasn't like, you know... Well, we, well, let's not talk about my experience, because mine was just completely different than right. anyone else's. I was just, like, the one out of the... One million, they got it the way I did, but um, you know, it's like a lingering type deal, right? So it's like a sinus, almost like a sinus infection, yeah. flu, body ache, yeah. tired, Chills. still got the foggy brain, fevers, yeah, fevers you know, it just. And, you know, the crazy thing is, it's like, you know, yeah, okay. You can take, you know, you could probably take a prednisone pack, you know, bring down some of the inflammation. And you could probably take a Z-pack, you know, just to be precautious. But ultimately, it's like literally you can't do anything about it yeah. outside of taking your immune boosters. Yeah. I swear to you not. I swear by them now. I take them every single night. Ask John. I have them lined up in my little case. I have never had a little pill case before that said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But now I do just to remember to take my vitamin C, my zinc, and my vitamin D yeah. to make sure that I don't miss, I don't skip a beat, like at all. And also I take the injectable versions as well. Right. So, you know, it's, it's just, I think it's really important that at right, right this second, that you're focusing more on like taking care of your body to pr like almost as if this sounds crazy, but I'm it's coming from me, but you know, almost as if you're putting yourself like making the biggest shield for your body that you can or building your machine, your machine, cause your body's a machine, right? right? Building the machine to fight off. Cause guys, let's be realistic. This is not the last one. No. It's not. Next, you're going to have Sally's come in next, and then, you know, Bobo the Clown's next version. And it's just, it's going to keep mutating, and it's just going to keep coming. So it's like, what do you do to protect yourself from getting as sick next time? Or right. what can you do, you know, to take care of yourself the most? And outside of, you know, like I said, taking the vitamins, eating right, of course, exercising a little bit, even if it's not, you don't have to go hardcore to the gym, you know, just a walk around the block, a brisk walk around the block won't kill you, 
you know, take a take your dog with you or your kid or something, you know. Um, and my, the biggest one, guys, I've, I've had to live by it is sleep. Yeah, sleep's another big one. Like sleep is your body important. recovers when it sleeps, revitalizes itself, rejuvenates itself. So it's really really key. And you know, if one thing this has taught us in the last three years, if you were not on the health tip. It is to be healthier, right? To have a healthier lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, to make sure that you are having some sort of activity, right? You're eating correctly, you're eating good foods for your body. Um, and obviously, you're getting sleep. That was a big one after that, you yeah. know? And some people out there have immunocompromised systems or they have, you know, different health risks or different health issues that are putting them at a higher risk to have, you know, more of a bad effect with COVID. Um, but the, the big thing about it is, and, and the crazy thing about it is, is that even if you're healthy, you can catch this and you can still be hospitalized or get yeah. really, really sick. Yeah. You know, a lot of people out there think, you know, like, wow, like, you know, you guys are really, really healthy looking, you're in shape and everything like that. So I'm surprised that, you know, when they hear Sharice's story that that happened to you, you know, because they're like, oh, doesn't that just happen to people that are overweight or have really bad health or something like that? And no, it's just, it's Strike really crazy. Dialogue. So, I mean, it, it's... <laughs> It's yeah, listen, guys. I'll be honest. I, I listen. Affecting people. I'll be honest with you guys. My first round of COVID, right? I, I was beating myself down, right? I was staying up till two, three, four o'clock in the morning, getting work done. I mean, because listen, I'm a workaholic. At least I can admit it. But I'm a workaholic. I like to work, right? So it is what it is. And I was just work, 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 and just do what I gotta do. But sleep was the last thing for me because my 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 body was last on the list. I had to take care of. Peter, take care of John, make sure that the business is good, take care of all the girls in the business. And as long as all that stuff was good, then, you know, we were good. But you got to put yourself, you got you to take care of yourself. Yeah. Health is number one priority. I, we think we see it all the time. And it's really true because without your health, you're not taking care of anybody. You're not doing your job. You're like literally You're in not bed. able to go out and have fun or yeah. do whatever you want to do, your hobbies and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's really important to put your health as number one priority because without it, you're not being able to do anything, right? And we always hit on that note, but... I think it's more of a serious note where people should take it more serious and prioritize it because, you know, with this all coming around, you're going to want to do that. You know, whether you're vaccinated or boosted or not, you know, you're unvaccinated, whatever it is, you can still catch this. You can still transmit this. And obviously we're seeing people getting hospitalized and all these different things they have to go through. Um, and it's really putting a damper on everything from daily life to our economy and everything like that. So. You know, it's just really important, you know, if you're not getting into a healthy lifestyle, I think this is the time to really set yourself up and say, listen, 2022, I'm going to start myself off and start being healthy. And it's something that you don't have to just shock yourself. With, yeah, right? you, you can work just, your way in. You don't have to just drop everything and, and go a million miles an Never hour. Never eat a fish again. You know, it's not like that. But it, it's something that you should definitely start leaning into. And, you know, you have to start creating these good habits. Because, you know, you can create good habits or you can create bad habits. And whatever you keep doing consistently, I tell my son this all the time, like, listen, the way that you talk, if you keep talking like this over and over and over, you say dumb things over and over and over, <laughs> it's, you're automatically just going to say it and blur it out because you're training yourself to do this. Right. So it's exactly like a healthy lifestyle, but you need to train yourself to do the good things. And once you start training yourself and be consistent on these things, that's when you're really going to see the upside of it and the positive result. So, you know, with this, you know, do whatever you need to do as far as protecting yourself, protecting your family from hopefully not getting this one thing. If you haven't got this, God bless you, mm. you know, because there are some people out there that haven't caught COVID, not, not any of the strength. I feel like you're eventually going to get it at some so point. So hopefully you don't, <laughs> right? So, you know, whatever it takes to not get it, you know, we're all for, you know, like I said, this is not a political thing. So if you want to mask up, mask up, you want to get vaccinated, double vaccinated, boosted, do it, right? If you think that you need that, then do it. And guys, listen, couple tip for our Cupid's Corner, right? Couple tip. So if you guys are sick, right, try to take care of each other, you yeah. know? Like, try to be extra nice to each other. Yeah. And you know what's funny is sometimes it'll stagger. Like, one person might get a little sicker, and they, they feel sick like a day or two, and then the next person gets sicker, you know, right after that. So, you know, don't always usually get sick at the right exact same time where you're both like, ah. So, like, try to use the two-day difference if that's what it is, two, three, four, five days, whatever. And, like, take take extra good care. You know, like, you know, give a couple a couple rubs, you know, maybe offer some tissues. Hot bath. Hot bath. Listen, John's really good about that. You know, what he'll do is he gets these vapors, and they're awesome. Yeah. And he puts them, he's like, you know, obviously if I'm stuffy or whatever, he'll be like, you know, he'll start the shower for me because 
because he's an amazing husband and you know put the vapors in there for me and be like you know just go step in there you know just get it all out and, you know and suck in all the vapors where you can't breathe I'm like ah my eyes are burning but it was it, honestly I get out and then I feel like a million times better yeah. so I thank him for that but it's like the little things I always say this in every episode too it's like the little things that count and you know the little tiny gestures or things or like you know pick up their plate for them take it downstairs bring up their food for them whatever they need you know throw an extra blanket on them that's a little warm make yeah. them cozy yeah. it's guys it's like the stupidest things that like do- doesn't even cost any money no. you know because somebody be like oh you don't have any money can't do anything for my for my man or for my girl it doesn't work that way like right. just think right that's another big thing so listen protect yourself too as well or be preventative so even if you haven't caught this or you did let's say right if you did this you're feeling really sick or you're feeling really tired and aching all that stuff give your body some extra pep in its step um you know this is where you know either you're taking oral vitamin c or vitamin d and stuff like that or you can get injectable stuff like that from us from type medical center um, which is going to be a higher retention as far as that goes in your body you're going to get more of it and it's probably going to help you a lot faster Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not going to say guaranteed or anything like that because people are really sensitive about this. Hey, subject. listen, I'll, I'll throw it out there. I, and this is a true fact. I've had patients write me in and say that the Titan Complete and the Tri Immunity between those two and glutathione has helped them immensely get through this, yep. this whole thing. Yep. And that's not coming from me. That's coming from the patients. Yep. So I'm just repeating what the patients are telling me. Yep. So, I mean, take it for what it's worth. Yeah, so it's, it's really good stuff as far as that goes. The therapies will help, especially with some of these symptoms that you guys are having out there, and you guys want to get over them because the whole thing is just treating the symptoms. Yeah. There's nothing that's going to cure COVID out there, okay? There's nothing that cures COVID. Not yet, anyway. You know, even vaccines, <laughs> they don't cure COVID. Originally, you know, people were going to get the vaccine, so they didn't catch COVID. And then the vaccines were good enough so you don't get hospitalized. And now people are getting that too as well. Or you won't be able to transmit it. Now people are transmitting it like that. So No rhyme to reason. There, there's no rhyme to reason to this. Nobody really knows what's going on as far as that goes. I, I mean, in my mind, I think that because I listen to all the information out there. I've listened to all these different doctors, seen all these different things. And there's so much, so much mixed, mixed signals as far mixed as what you should do, what yeah. you should not do, what we should do mask-wise, not mask-wise. Now it's at 95 masks, not cloth masks. So there's just a lot of different things out there, right? Put a bag over your head. You're like, what do I do and what do I believe? Just put a bag over your head. Listen, do... Cut out the eyes. Yeah. (laughs) Do do what your your body needs, right? And we know that if you supplement some of these different things, that your body is going to respond to them and it's going to help boost your immune system. Antioxidants are a big thing. So just remember this and, and take it for what it is, right? And if you haven't been doing these things, now's the time. Absolutely. Now is your time. So at this point, you guys can go forth and you guys can have a healthy and safe 2022 year. And hopefully we'll get through this together. Right? Absolutely. So I'm John. I'm sure And we'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. Make sure you guys, if you guys miss it, DVR it. Or you guys can catch all this this episode and more episodes on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, type in Tight Medical Center. You'll see this video and a whole bunch of other great ones. I promise you, if you want to look at all the therapies, they're on there too. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. See you then.